are flying to Manila for three weeks and oh, can we just bring him, babe? Board C. Kuyog ka, Bordo? Board C, love, love. Kuyog na lang si Bordo. Kuyog na lang, please. Kuyog ka na lang. once again and we're actually here for Bernice's Spam and Hikan that one you will see on her vlog but on the same channel since we're Vernon and Bernice now we're just setting up but Ben and I and Vernon as well will head to Makati because we're gonna do grocery because Ben and I are eating healthier alternatives to our favorites so we're gonna pass by the supermarket we're also going to healthy options and then I'm so happy because I'm finally going to try one live studio after maybe two or three years I don't think I've even tried their services in the studio itself but I used to do them all the time back home during the pandemic so that one is at 3 p.m. and that's it and then after that we're gonna be going home and it's paman hikan time I'm really actually excited for my sister because these are the things that Biden and I didn't get to experience but I'm happy that she's getting to experience everything that's normal and everything that happens in a wedding like hers so anyway let's head to Makati Hi babe. Hello. Here babe, get this. <laughs> with grocery and now I'm heading to One Life Studio. I'm really excited. I wonder if there's any difference with how I do it in Cebu or if it's just the same. So let's find out. I can tell you the type of girl that's got good things to say. Got a big bright art that could match your eyes like the stars up in outer space. And that's why I'm gonna take a chance. I see that, please take my head out on the floor. There's something I want more than to offer you this dance. With every smile, you got me wishing. I'll never be sorry, I'm my reach. With every mood, you got me dreaming of who you and I could be. If there was ever a love that felt so perfect. Good morning guys! So I think you jumped into the next vlog already because I'm putting Vogue uh, events on another one. But in this wife life, you guys are gonna see that I went straight to the hospital. It's actually like I think 4 a.m. and I'm just waiting for bed and then we're going to head to the hospital so I can check in for my surgery. It's just a minor one. I think it's just a lap hystero or something like that. And it's not invasive, but I will be sleeping. I'm kind of getting nervous. I got to sleep for about four hours though, because yesterday, just a little backstory. Of course, I had my nails done for the ball and for the party. And then, oh my god, it was Memai who told me that I can't have polish during an operation. So I ended yesterday with new lounge. They're the ones who kindly, kindly removed my nail polish. They're around 12 o'clock already and I gotta sleep at around 12.30. Something like that. 
Anyway, my sister told me there's nothing to be worried about, but I think anyone who hates hospitals like me can understand that it's still pretty scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna be too dramatic about it, but of course I'm going to tell you guys how it went and what my experience was. So just uh, how I prepared, no eating for 8 hours. I already fasted at starting at 10.30 p.m. That was my last drop of water as well. I showered last night and I'll just shower again when I get back. That's it. Oh my god. My heart. <laughs> so anyway, not sure if I can take so much clips in the hospital, but wish me luck, guys. Hey guys, so I just got back from the hospital and I woke up maybe like 40 minutes ago from my anesthesia. Anyway, everything went well and I think I'm just really, really groggy. I'm happy I did the surgery because the doctor said that like a big reason why maybe Ben and I were having a hard time is because they found out when they went in that there's so much polyps pala that was blocking. Before they thought it was just three when I did a test, but apparently it's a lot. Like it's all over the place. And he's gonna send me photos later. So if you guys are eating, maybe skip to like 30 seconds from now. <laughs> if you guys will find it gross. Or I don't know, I'll think about it if I'll put it. <laughs> So that's the update, but for you girls who are looking to do the same procedure, pain, I just fell asleep, but I really, really hate hospitals. So I think the first part of the operation was hard for me, only emotionally and mentally, just because I'm not a big fan of it, staying in hospital. That's why I opted to be an outpatient after, even if Doc Novera said that it's better if I check in the night before so that they can prep me properly. But I really hate hospitals. That's why we opted to stay here and then the pain for it well during because you're asleep you don't feel anything of course literally like when they put the anesthesia you wake up you're already in the recovery room oh my god when i woke up i feel like a 10 inch wooden thing was forced up my thing that's how it felt it was so sore like so that's how i felt but after a while after the pain subsided or after maybe an hour because i fell asleep again when i woke up it's not so bad i just feel like i have bad dysmenorrhea where i have cramps and then that part is still a bit sore so that's how i feel the price i think it varies per hospital but the hospital charges that we paid was almost 131 right babe yeah 131,000. that was the procedure the operation i guess the tests they did and then 30 plus thousand for my doctor's fee so total was about 160 something that's what we paid today so if you guys have any questions you guys can dm me on instagram you guys can also leave a comment down below on the comment section maybe i can answer it but guys there's good news so i spoke with my doctor just a few minutes ago and he said my tubes are not blocked and after talking to a lot of women who are in the same situation as we are, they said that a big part of it, it's hard when your tubes are blocked because usually that's when they resort to IVF or it's a harder operation or test to do. So at least it's just the polyps for now that they think is really the reason why Ben and I were having a hard time. So they removed that. I'm all clean. And now I guess the hard part is I have to just be healthy like stick to our new healthy lifestyle so that my polyps and my picos won't flare up or go back so easily and the fun part is me and ben <laughs> <laughs> no but guys you know ben really showed up this time like i feel like because of the things that have been happening i feel like we really got a lot closer and he really took care of me like he's always taken care of me but he really took care of me a lot more i feel like he loved me so much more just because we went through this yeah anyway i'm so hungry because i barely ate yesterday because i was so nervous about the surgery so there so let's eat guys and that's good news Thanks for praying with me. I got so much messages from you guys uh, telling me that you're praying with me. And I got so killed because even if it's just a minor surgery, it turned out so well. Yay. Love you, babe. Love you. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Bye, guys. Good morning, guys. So... They just delivered the menu from the lounge breakfast and one of the things that I actually wanted to change in my routine now that I had my surgery was my fasting. So I actually saw it first in 
Bianca King stories. If you guys know her, she used to be an actress here in the Philippines, and I think they also had a hard time conceiving. And she said that fasting helped her conceive as well, because when you fast, it messes up with your hormone. And after reading it on her stories, I did my own research, and I really did. It's so weird, because like after consulting three doctors, no one really told me about that, but it's really just your own research and asking them about it. So I think I'm going to get the millennial breakfast. Toasted sourdough, forked avocado, poached egg, and sautéed tomatoes. That's what I'm going to get for sure. So just waiting for Ben to argue with me and then we're going to start our day. Morning guys. I know we want to be like breakfast food. <laughs> Garlic. Crispy dangit. Bam! <laughs> no, no. It's a ha? You can eat like the Pinoy breakfast bowl, just don't eat the dangit or the sourdough breakfast sandwich. See? I think this is good. Then I also got you that! Yes! Just don't eat the dangit. Hello, people. Ben going into the trend. I don't think I can pull it off. <laughs> no. Hello, you're here. How's the vegetarian life? Are you gonna cry now? <laughs> Sad life for my meat eater, former meat eater. <laughs> used to it. Okay, so Ben and I just came back from our little walk around BGC and of course I went to Zara. I don't think I can not not visit Zara if I see it. I don't know. I'm sure you guys can relate. I think this is Ben approved because it's a mini dress. Babe, what do you think? Yes. Okay, he likes it for sure. The pieces that I got this time are actually really comfy. I saw this first online and then I was really hoping that it was in the physical store because it just looks so nice when I'm just doing wife life and just at home. So it's just like a matching set. So this one with like just these comfy palazzo pants that feel like pajamas. I also got a corset top there. And last one that I got is cargo pants. It's like a palazzo cargo pants in black. It just has these pockets at the side. It's really, really nice. And then the rest are just band stuff. Anyway, the next thing that I wanted to show you was actually this Realme pad that I got recently in the mail. I had an old one, the older version, and that one, you really, I used it so much, especially to all the travels that Ben and I did this year, which is quite a lot considering that there was a pandemic happening. But this is the Realme Pad X. I already unboxed this in the start of the vlog, but I just wanted to show you what was inside the box. So once you open it, this is what you get. The Pad X was here, then you just get a charger. And of course you get the manual, just like any other. So it's good because it's compatible for a second one, especially when Ben and I are traveling. And that's all inside the box. What I really love about this Realme Pad X is the size of the screen. The old one that I used to have was a little bit smaller, but this one is a bigger screen, meaning that whenever I would watch movies on the plane or check my vlogs for work, this is a good size for me. And I love that it's so compact, it's so sleek. Look at that. There's even like that glossy finish when you just turn it around and there so I set this up at the start of the trip and I'm really happy with it it already has all the stuff that I need everything was already pre-downloaded and it's just so easy to transfer my apps from my old pad X and there that's it so this one is actually powered by Dolby Atmos meaning that the screen and the color of the videos are true to life it has a very high quality screen and the camera is really nice as well other than that very happy with this purchase along with the Zara items that I have. And if you guys want to buy one for yourself, I will link it on the description box down below. For now, I'm just going to change, sanitize myself, and I'm gonna wait for my family to come so we can chill here in the hotel room.
let's sleep.